Hello, um, my name's Dr. James Gill. Um, I've been asked to have a chat with you today. Um, before we start, could you please confirm your name and date of birth? Thomas Alvey, 4th of January 2000. Super, so how can I help today? Um, so when I was at work, uh, we sort of had a medical checkup. Mm -hmm. And while doing the medical checkup, one of the examiners checked my blood pressure. And they said that I'd have high blood pressure. They couldn't okay. comment much more, but they really recommended me to go to my GP. So I thought I'd come and give a visit. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's probably came as a bit of a surprise to you. Um, do you mind if I ask, um, have you had any problems with your heart that you're aware of? No, not to myself, no. You say not to yourself. Has anyone in the family had problems with their heart? So my grandmother does have high blood pressure. Okay. Um, and my dad's been having a bit of high blood pressure. Okay. So I have heard it, but um, I didn't realise I was affected as well. Okay. Have you ever had your blood pressure checked before? No. Okay, so again, it's going to come as quite a bit of a surprise. What does you do for work? Um, I tend to just work in sort of manual. So I tend to lift objects quite a lot um, and heavy lifting, things like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we'll do, we'll do your manual blood pressure here today. Um, and then depending on what that looks like, because blood pressure can change uh, across the day and from day to day, we'll see whether or not we need to do anything further. Do you have a preference to your arms? Left, please. Okay. Do you have any problems or pain with the left arm? Right. Perfect. So, we're just going to make sure that this fits first. So, we're just going to measure the top. Okay, so that's good. So, it's under 80%. And we're going to do this twice. So, we're going to do it once, uh, just feeling a pulse, and then once using the stethoscope. Okay. So, just unwind that. Let me put that on there. So, I'm just going to feel your pulse to start off with. Okay, so the pulse has disappeared about 130, 140-ish with that. So I'll let that pressure out. Okay. And we're just going to do the same again now. I'm just going to listen to the noises. So we're just going to go up. Okay, so the numbers disappear. Okay, and they've disappeared about 140, so let's let it out again. And the pulse has come back at about 90. Okay. So doing a manual check like this, it does look like your blood pressure is certainly a little bit up. However, um, that's only ever so slightly, and there are various things that can affect your blood pressure from you know, having difficulty with uh, the, uh, the traffic, getting here to the surgery, and potentially just a bit of white coat. Maybe you're a bit anxious about coming to the doctor. I don't know. So what I think would be a good idea is we're going to sort you out with a blood pressure monitor to take home. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to do home blood pressure monitoring. So this and the one that you did at work is just a simple snapshot. That might not be the true picture. So by doing this, you're going to do your blood pressure twice in the morning and twice in the evening. And we want you to sit as you're doing now, with your feet flat on the floor, arms and legs uncrossed. You know, ideally sat quietly for about five minutes first. You put the blood pressure on, uh, let's go with the left arm, and you're going to stay testing that left arm throughout the week. Run the blood pressure and ideally get somebody else to look at the numbers and write them down. That way you can't sort of get in your head with it. Give it two minutes, and then you can do the same again. Record all of those uh, throughout the seven days, morning and evening, and then bring those back to us. There is an app connected with the monitors, so you can record it on there if you'd like to, but we'll still give you the, the blood, home blood pressure monitoring form as well, because it's nice to have belt and braces on these things. Does that sound a reasonable plan at the moment? Yes. Okay, so let's just put this on now. I'll let you put that on so you can try it and make sure we can use it. Okay. And relax and then press go. So it's on and then one more. So somebody else like myself can talk to you whilst that automatic blood pressure monitor is going up. 
However, you can't talk to anyone at the moment because that will artificially elevate the blood pressure. So, as I say, you ideally want you sitting nice, calmly and relaxed as that blood pressure is going to go up. And we'll see how the automated machine compares to uh, the manual that we've done. Okay. So it goes all the way up, as we did, and it's letting the pressure out and measuring or uh, monitoring your heart rate as it does. And when it can't hear the heart rate, that's the bottom blood pressure number. Okay, so that's saying very similar. We've got 140, 143 over uh, 94. So, yes, we do certainly have uh, an issue with blood pressure today. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be substantiated. So, we'll stick this back in this box. You can toddle off with this, and then we'll see you in a week's time with the data. Sounds good. So, I realise I've done quite a bit of talking there at the end. What questions have you got for me? Um, I measure it twice a day. Yes. Um, for seven days. Yep. There's an app for it, and you'll also give me a piece of paper. Correct. And to come back, and then we'll find out my true blood pressure even. Excellent. Cool. Super. Well, that's for yourself, and we'll see you in seven days. Thank you. Take care.